YouTube, it's Nikki from Nikki Lily. So today I'm coming at you with a makeup tutorial, but one that I haven't done for a while. I believe I did this two years ago or one year ago or around that and it is a no makeup makeup. And I feel like since then the quality of my videos have got better and the quality of how well I do my makeup has got better. So I thought why not just do an updated version of that and this is the makeup that I have just applied to my face so this is the finished look which if you watch further on you will see how to recreate and I've been seriously into no makeup makeup looks recently I feel like a lot of youtubers have been posting videos like that and I just love wearing no makeup makeup because I just find that it makes me feel a little bit more confident when I don't really feel very confident but I don't want to wear loads of makeup so yeah I really love this and this is a perfect look for you if you go to school and you are allowed to wear makeup or you just want to wear a little bit that's very minimal or work if you want to wear minimal makeup so yeah it's just a perfect perfect look and all the products I used I will link down below because I absolutely love them and yes that's it really um if you don't know what no makeup Makeup, makeup means basically what it stands for is you're wearing makeup but it looks really natural so it could give the appearance that you're not wearing makeup even though you are so that's what gives it the name no makeup makeup and if you would like to see my interpretation of no makeup makeup then carry on watching so I'm going to start off priming my face with the professional benefit primer I actually ran out of my full size and I haven't yet been able to go out and purchase one like a full size so I was just scamming around my room to try and find anything that was the professional primer by benefit and found this little tester one and I really love uh, using a primer especially when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look because I find that it makes your the rest of your makeup apply a lot nicer and more even and smoothly which also gives a more high quality appearance of that you're not wearing makeup because your skin's really smooth and nothing's clinging to your face. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my NYX HD concealer. I love this so much. It's just not too liquidy, not too thick, it lasts all day and it really suits my skin colour color my skin color there's loads of different colors in this range which is amazing to suit really pale skin or quite dark skin which I really like so I'm just going to get the wand and just do a triangular shape underneath my eyes and just apply it to anywhere where I have some spots or redness so at the moment that's around my nose and um, on my nose and places like that so yes and then I'm just going to get my brush and slowly dab it in. Now onto my foundation I'm going to be using the Bourjois Air Matte foundation with 24 hour hold which is amazing I love wearing this one to school because it do I don't think it holds for 24 hours in my opinion I don't really believe that any foundation would hold for 24 hours but it definitely holds uh, throughout my whole school day where I'm faced with lots of weather issues and just rubbing my face through tiredness and just stuff like that so this is great and this is from Bourjois um, and I'm just going to put about a generous squeeze of that onto the back of my hand this is in the shade 01 rose ivory and i'm just going to get my foundation brush from real techniques dab a bit of that onto the brush and blend it into my skin let me know if you'd like to see like an everyday makeup of course i wear this one like every day if i'm going to school but if you'd like to see a sort of more in-depth everyday makeup where i wear slightly more makeup because i would totally love to do that and i like to blend in my foundation on a school day as much as i can oh i'm wearing a choker that wasn't a good idea was it oh well now on to bronzer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contouring Palette with, which has a highlight and a contour. Um, this is really nice because it dries uh, from like a cream to a matte. So I'm just going to get 
not too generous because otherwise that can lead to bad things which I've learnt just a nice amount on the top of my brush and just put it, put it where I like it so I like to do one side of my face first because otherwise I don't have enough time to blend it in um, and then I get a blending brush and just slowly mix it into my skin. It doesn't leave you with orange skin, it just leaves you really with a really nice bronzy sort of hint on your skin so I really love this product. I've got all my little products here um, and this is the number 7 Pop and Glow Cream Blush. I really love this especially for spring because it's just got the nicest like peachy tinge to it but it's not like peachy like like out there peachy and I was quite scared or skeptical when I got this because um, it is one of those it does look quite bright in here but it gives the nicest finish on your uh, cheeks once you've blended it in and these are such a great dupe for the uh, Clinique uh, like chubby sticks for your cheeks or just other stick like cheek chubby sticks or chubby sticks because they're really cheap they're a drugstore brand and they're just as good if not better so I just like to do little dabs up and down onto my cheek as you can see there's like a line there and then I'm just going to do the same on this cheek then I'm just going to sort of blend upwards do some circular motions up and down on my cheek the next three steps are optional but I just really like doing them because I think they just make the end result of the no makeup makeup look especially on the day where I'm not going to school so I'm going to do my eyebrows now and I'm going to use the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade brunette so I'm just going to get that and just brush through my brows you can use any eyebrow product that works for you. I just like to fill them in slightly so they look a little bit more human. And then I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows to make it more natural and distribute the colour. And those are my eyebrows tamed. Now you can get a lot of brown mascaras these days which I really like especially on days where I just want to change up my makeup look and do something a bit different. Make my eyelashes a little bit more fluttery um, but also quite natural and I really love this mascara. Benefit Roller Lash Mascara in brown because it's not too wet and it's not too dry and it never flakes off which I really hate especially on a school day because you end up with like black flakes or brown flakes around your eyes and it's not a good look because then when you try and wipe them off like mascara comes off onto your skin more than it already had and because my eyelashes are a dark brown I find this the most natural for me so I'm just going to do a couple coats of this. I just like to fan my eye just to make it dry a little bit quicker and then I'm just going to do the other eye. I've been absolutely obsessed with this recently not just for my no makeup makeup days but just in general when I want a natural lippy um, and this is the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick 3D Volume Lip Shine by Soap and Glory in the shade Nudist. I love this so much. It's a really good more brownie dupe for MAC Velvet Teddy and even more moisturising so ticks all the boxes for me. So on this goes. That is the finished makeup done. I actually really love this makeup at the moment and yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed showing you guys the no makeup that I wear to school or just on a day where I want to wear makeup but don't want to go through all that effort of having to do my eye makeup and highlighter and all of that. Let me know in the comments down below what other makeup videos you'd like me to do because I'd seriously love to do them as I love makeup which you guys probably already know if you're new or you're an old subscriber. Um, don't forget to subscribe 
subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you liked it, if you like, and I will see you super soon. Bye everyone, I hope whatever you're doing makes you happy. Mwah.